Welcome back, everybody, to Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. I'm an old guy gaming. We're going to pick up right where we left off. Uh, in the last episode, we finally uh, beat the boss, Ogdo Bago, after several unsuccessful attempts. I did not show uh, most of those on camera, though. Uh, but we finally got him, which was a good, good feeling. And uh, we are now, as far as I can tell, anyways, we are now done in this area. So it's time for us to go back to the ship. And move on to the next thing. Is he back down there again? I don't know. No, I don't see him down there. Okay, good. So, let's see. I guess, what do we want to do? We want to go this way. And back to the ship. I wonder what's in that thing. You passed the test. So you knew about BD-1? <laughs> Come on board. We'll talk inside. Oh, BD-1, this is Grease. Hey, Grease. What is that? Get off my sofa! Get, get off my sofa! Go! Get out of there! Get out! That is BD-1. He's with us. I don't care who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil stains out of Batoli Bean fabric? Not really. Oh, I hope you found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Grease. He did. Tell us, Cal. The vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? A holocron from the archives. It contains a list of Force-sensitive children. <sighs> the next generation of Jedi. I knew it! Ah, oh, Cordova, you old fool. You knew him? Yes. A long time ago. I was his apprentice. Cordova was a loner. And that little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Pagano. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. A hollow what? A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one around here. Use the Force. This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. Hmm. With that list of Force Sensitives, we could rebuild the Jedi Order and defeat the Empire. Okay, no problem. Let's get it! Well, except the Holocron <laughs> is hidden deep inside the vault, and to get it, we have to follow Cordova's path. He mentioned something about the planet Dathomir and a Zepho homeworld. All right, well, where are we going? I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. Hmm? Look. Before we do anything, I need to know something. How come you're no longer a Jedi? I had an experience that changed my perspective. So I cut myself off from the Force. But you still want to rebuild the Order. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. Cal, as long as you're alive, you will always have a choice. Are you with us? We're in. Dathomir Zepho, it's your choice. All right. Multiple entries. Rebuilding the Jedi Order. After revealing she no longer uses the Force, Siri sent Cal... I'm, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Siri, Sira? Probably Sira. Sent Cal to an ancient vault. Along the way, Cal found a friendly droid named BD-1 who joined his quest on their journey. Cal reached out to the Force, remembering his ability to wall run. Inside the vault, BD projected a message from Master Eno Cordova detailing how he hit a holocron containing a list of known Force-sensitive children within. To access it, Cal must find the tombs of three Zepho sages. With BD's aid, Cal embarks on a journey to rebuild the Jedi Order. Very cool. All right. Um, it said, didn't it say we had multiple orders? Characters. Okay. 
trough. Um, here we go. Uh, Sarah reveals her mentor was a Jedi named Eno Cordova. Okay, so that was his, her, her master. Okay, I guess I missed that for some reason. A loner who studied lost cultures and often challenged the wisdom of the Jedi Council. While the two remained in contact throughout the years as a Jedi Knight, they were never very close. Okay. So, we go here and choose where we're going to go. I think we're going to go to the place with the tombs, because I don't know which one's better. <laughs> Where are we headed? Search Zappel for ancient tombs. Um, use a hollow table on the mantis. How do I... Rotate. How do I choose the... If I wanted to choose the other world, how would I do it? What the hell's that? Ancient tombs. Okay, hold on. Rotate, recenter, zoom, escape other planets. Okay. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to switch. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, Dathomir must just be a side planet that we can go to, um, but Zepho is where we need to go for the actual quest. Dathomir, Zepho. Okay, yep, yeah, let's do it. Oh, I guess I have to hold that down. Zepho? Sure, let's go. This whole journey has put a lot of wear and tear on the Manus. Like it was perfect before? It was a masterpiece, but now, ugh, just don't be surprised if I send you a bill. <laughs> Someone's low on funds. I mean, sure, okay, that may be part of it, but I'm used to it. Were you rich growing up? Wealth isn't really a priority for Jedi. Yeah, well, I was poor too, but it wasn't so bad. My crew and I would find things to do for cheap. That's where I learned how to play Subhawk. A game which requires credits. Strange choice. <laughs> ah, we were kids. We bet all kinds of dumb things from food to funny-shaped rocks. Unfortunately, things changed when we got older. Funny-shaped rocks didn't go so far anymore. The galaxy would be a better place if they did. All right, kids, sit down. We're here. A storm brewing down there. This might not be the best time to land. Eh, yeah, something strange. Those winds are interfering with our comms. Hey, Cordova mentioned something about peace in the eye of the storm. Well, I can just make out a settlement in the middle of it. Then we have to get there. Copy that. So this looks like it might be an ice planet, maybe? Oh. Couple bumps ain't gonna kill you, kid. <laughs> Unless the wind picks up. <laughs> Can you tell that bucket of balls to keep his opinion to himself? I'm sure everything's under control. Because it's under control, it's just a little tricky. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Perfect landing. <laughs> Greasy money, baby. Uh, but I'm still getting a lot of interference on the comms. It's gonna take me a minute to get them back up. I'll search for signs of Cordova in the meantime. Good. I'll be in touch once I crack this. Cal, over here. You did good work on Bagano. The more information we gather on Cordova and the Zepho, the closer we'll get to stopping the Empire. I've heard of ancient cultures, but don't know much about them. I only knew that Cordova was obsessed with the Zepho, believing their teachings to be important. I, too, was intrigued by the mysteries of our galaxy. 
You better get moving. There's a lot to learn here. Good luck. Okay. Um, there was... We got, like, a new switch for the lightsaber. So is there, like, a workbench around here? What's this? Hey, Grease, what's this thing? What? You've never seen a terrarium before? Oh, sure, we but planted don't you a seed. Have plants in them? Well, I've been a bit busy hauling you around the galaxy. <laughs> but you know, you could pay me back with some seeds. I thought you hated nature. When it's out there, you betcha. But when it's behind a comfortably thick wall of embarn glass, that's perfection. All right, I'll see if I can find any. Okay. Yeah, I remember we did find a seed. Uh, what I want to know, though, is there a lightsaber bench in here? Can we go in there? Nope. Oh, there's a, a save point thing. Oh, here we go. Okay. Yeah, we got a, a new switch for lights. We're not exactly sure what it, that does, though. Switch. Oh, the actual switch that we use to turn it on. Okay, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. I thought it meant, like, we could switch it, you know, switch modes on it or something. Um, Actually, I, I like the one that it has. Yeah, and we don't have anything else, so we're gonna keep, we're gonna keep the way it is. Can we go down here? Nope, it doesn't let us jump or anything. All right, let's do a save point here. probably saved when we got to the planet too but we'll just do it here again just to be on the safe side on the save side huh <laughs> okay I'll stop all right let's get out of here so this is kind of like a a storm well I guess we're in the eye of a storm so what do we got going on over here? Stuff we can explore. Doesn't look like we can go back that way. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so there's a path there and an entrance here. Derelict hangar. Oh, he found something. Another one? Storage crate. Sturdy storage containers that transport fragile goods. The outside is made of heavy metal that can easily withstand Zephos high winds. Here's a container. Hey now. Oh, something was in there. New poncho material. Okay. Don't see anything over that way. Let's go ahead and go in here. Can't Door's locked through. from the other side. Doggone it. Alright, anything over here? Wait a second. I thought I saw something to highlight down there for a moment. Pretty cool. Oh, we got a couple of Something something's messing around with uh, a dead stormtrooper. Watch out, BD. They don't look friendly. 
They're like little rat things. Uh, didn't we get a scan? Oh, there we go. Stormtrooper may attack efficiently in large numbers. A lightsaber will reflect shots back at them. Imperial Stormtroopers are the frontline soldiers of the Galactic Empire, constricted from worlds across the galaxy. They've been trained to support the might of the Imperial War Machine and identify threats indiscriminately. Armed with a variety of weapons, including long-range blaster rifles, they are, the most, they are most efficient in large numbers, where they may prove overwhelming. Cal, can you hear me? The Empire. They found Zeppo. If they were following the Mantis, we would have been swarmed already. Could they be looking for the tombs? Let's hope not. Just got our comms working. I'll try the same workaround to crack into theirs. Okay, a scan. Skaz. Oh, that's like a, a bat rat. That's, <laughs> that's what that looks like. Skaz are most commonly found in the shade or dark areas where they can maintain cooler body temperatures. Due to poor vision, they are especially vulnerable in bright light. They are most dangerous in packs, often biting and locking their jaws onto prey, providing an opportunity for the others to strike. Capable of two different attacks. We'll bite at a prey's heel or lock them down with a leap that cannot be blocked. Oh, okay. we got to remember that. We can't block it. Opportunistic. Often surrounding prey when they are locked down. All right. There's a doorway up there and a pathway up there. Let's go this way. Can't get through. Also locked. Okay. Oh. What'd you find, you buddy? Scan? Scout Trooper Baton. Imperial Electro Baton given to troopers stationed in remote areas where unexpected threats may arise. These weapons are crafted from the same components as Clone Wars era Electrostas, but have updated Imperial modifications. Okay. Just the one. Oh no. Oh, there's a bunch of them. I'm trying to. Oh, are you kidding me? They killed me? Oh shit. I wasn't paying attention. I was trying to use my, uh, my hold the force, you know, time slow thing of doing it on one of them, but obviously that wasn't working so well. We gotta start all the way back over here, huh? Is there something over here? Oh, it's just uh, what's his face? Oh, we did it! We did it! I hope you're not hurt. What are you looking at? Who are you talking to? Uh, just my ship, the Manus. Good name, right? Intimidating. Oh, what do you know? You probably never even flown a ship. Maybe I'll teach you one day when you're done with your Jedi stuff. I'll even give you a discount. <laughs> Guy's a little bit cantankerous, isn't he? Okay, let's try this again. Try and pay a little more attention this time. Did I see something go back in here? Hmm. Oh, I did. Okay. Oh, yeah, that guy's got our stuff, doesn't he? Oh, my goodness. Holy shit, these guys are dangerous. Wow. Okay. Um. Maybe what we need to do is, is try and sh um, do the slow thing on one of them and then deal with the first two. I'm, uh, I'm taking them for granted. Because it said we, I think it said we couldn't block their leap attacks. But I guess that doesn't mean we can't block all of their attacks, though.
All right, let's see if we can. There we go. Okay, that worked a little bit better for those guys. Okay. So, let's see. We want to... Not close enough. I was trying to force him to <laughs> use the force on him. Oh my god, I can't believe this. Okay, let's play this a little smarter this time. We're, I still keep running in there thinking I can just kick the shit out of him. We gotta be a little more strategic. Do some dodging, do some blocking, that sort of thing. It worked pretty well on the first group. I, there is something that ran across there. <laughs> I'm not seeing things. Okay, let's try this again. We got this. I know we're a Jedi now, but it'll be kind of nice if we had a ranged attack. Okay. That wasn't very eloquent, but... nice if we could get yeah get one of them at a time here okay yeah I think another one pops up from somewhere There we go. Yeah, man, don't take these guys for granted. At least not if you're playing on the hard settings like I am. I'm playing on the second to the hardest settings, though. I'm not playing on the hardest hard settings. I'd like to find a meditation point so we don't have to do all that again. Jumped by something in here. There we go. Mother used this fabric to keep her child warm. They were on the run from something. Okay. Most of those, um, those, uh, things are just repeating what he already says. Oh, 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 oh shit. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Let's go this way. There was something over here. When I was looking up there, there was one of those little... Yeah, see that? ABD-1. Holding up okay? Good to hear. Okay. Maybe we get up there from a different route. Probably have to go this way.
Hey, BD1. Mm -hmm. Just checking on you. Oh, so that gives us a third health stim. Right? Yep. Very cool. Okay. Maximum number of stim canisters increased. That's going to come in handy. Let's go up here. Just looking around. You know, another game this kind of reminds me of a little bit is uh, is Tomb Raider 2. Not Tomb Raider 2, but Tomb Raider 2. Like T O O 2. <laughs> Didn't figure that was going to work. Oh! Oh shit! sneak around those guys or do we have to take oh, okay two of them just took off easy enough can't open that door Okay, let's go down here. Hmm. Doesn't appear to be anything down there. Okay. I guess we gotta go up this way. Beatty found something. Huh? A warning. This area is off limits. Imperial code 94364. No selling or trading. Abandoned village. What are those guys going after? Oh, one of them rat things. Right, is there a meditation thingamadoodle around here? I can see. Okay, so let's go this way. Oh shit! Above us? On it. Pursuing the Jedi. Shoot him down! Target! 
Whoa, time fighter. Okay, is there anything over here? Take her and go. I'll lead them away. Oster, no! Separated. A bag left by a family as they became separated. The father caused a distraction, allowing the mother to escape with their child. Huh. Can't open that door either. <clears throat> BD! It's all lies. Eviction notice. Civilians must immediately report for relocation. Looters will be shot. In accordance with the period code 94 364, no selling or trading without proper authorization and explicit consent. This property and its belongings are now under the protection protection of the Galactic Empire. General Markon, 201st Squadron. The Empire just wanted this land. Yep, pretty much. I'm sure that's what happened. Jedi! Oh shit! I've got this! Stim here. I didn't really time that very well, so Okay, there's um There's a thing there. It's too high for us to get up, isn't it? Alright, there must be a different a different route we're supposed to take then. Hey, you! Identify yourself! Who's saying that? Where's this guy at? There he is. Oh shit! I was exp ah, I won't let up. I'm trying to to parry him. Let's take him on. I'll break your guard. Okay. This isn't working so well. Calling it quits. <laughs> Better call this in. That guy's a little. That guy's a little tougher than I was expecting. Obviously. Okay, um, so that means we probably have to start all the way back by the ship because we haven't found a new save point yet, which kind of sucks. And it's going to take another million years to load the screen. Oh, maybe not another million years. We did open this door as the shortcut. Though. Oh, you know what? We're actually out of time, though, anyway. All right, guys. Well, yeah, let's go ahead and wrap it up here. And um, we'll just pick up where we left off. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If, did hit, if you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video. I'm tired. I got to go to bed. <laughs> And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.